Welcome back to the African Desert. Fellow Armchair Generals, this is Gamer1745 with our continuing playthrough of Order of Battle. Okay, let's see if we can push the British back. Hmm. That's what I was looking for. Okay, we've moved that. Yeah, it has been a little bit of time. Well, that gives him a lot of... Okay. Well, we really shouldn't have moved those guys because they would have been in position to attack them. Well, we can put these away down. So. Nice British lads there. Boom, machine gun. Or maybe I should go boom, machine gun. That's Rommel and his panzer. Is there anybody else we need to remember back up in here? No. Okay. I think that's it. Uh, I think we want to continue. a bit. Or maybe I should have reinforced some of those. Ah. Okay, we fold that, deploy 88 millimeter guns at Haifa Pass, right? Destroy a Matilda tank. This would be the Matilda tank. nasty aircraft who's attacking us. Hmm. Yeah, I figured there was going to be baddies down here. Italian points. Okay, well, might as well move forward. Oh, we can fire? What? That's a two pounder quick fire anti tank gun. Necessarily want to attack those infantry. Oh, he's behind the. Okay. Behind. 
behind the mountains, or I didn't realize that would be behind the mountains. That would be an awfully big bonus for them, so we're going to come out to the desert here. Um, yeah, we'll drive. Connect the, the roadway up for better supply. But come on, we're almost get, get up to the front, get your command bonus in. Okay, next turn we can move the infantry up. Attack them in the rear. Tank gun go. I just can't. Oh, it moved up. Ooh, it moved up to go after my tanks. Oh, wow. I was looking back here for it. Uh oh, friend gun carrier. Yeah, universe carrier, I know, but. Uh huh. Let's drive back up here and take him out. Relink up the supplies. Oh, good, 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 good. Bye bye. I guess we'll, we'll fall it back. No, you just march a little ways up. You come up. You guys. Keep it within range of them so that if they come back to that again, we'll get a little anti aircraft action. And here, hmm, let's move up. Oh, good, we did nick them a little bit. Steven. We got up a little bit. I don't know what I want to continue because I don't really want to move. Oh. 25 pounders in the rear. as well if they move back there with that. Well, okay. Come on, get your car out and shoot them up. we have the German points to get them going good. That would be a bad mistake. supposed to get some of these guys to the Haifa Pass here. At least one, so let's move you up to here. Okay. 
There we go. I'd rather have him kill this Italian enemy tank gun up there slowly and really affect some of our good units. So let's see now. Oh, yeah. They're about out of ammo, so let's do that. Hit them three times, so that really makes things a lot better. Okay, um, yeah. And not to forget our. Well, let's move up a little bit. Might as well. There you go. Wheel them guns up. Okay. I think that, well, I do still have that down here. Okay, well. One flag left to capture, maybe. A pass. Oh, we had one here. Or is this Haifa Pal? Cypher Pass here. What are we talking about here?
and this. Okay, primary objective. Okay, so we've done it. Okay, victory. The British offensive has been halted. Or the, or, ah. the British offensive has first been halted and then driven, uh, or has then reverted by stiff resistance from the German Italian forces. The vital Haifa Pass uh, remains secure. Very good. Okay, so we've got all of our secondary objectives as well as primary ones achieved. Okay. No, thank you. Okay, you have gained six new specialized points. Do you want to consult? Yes, we'll do that now. Okay, so we have these guys up here. Um, hmm. Scrambling radar observers detect enemy aircraft fighter pilots. Okay. Organization, tote. Um, unique about three which will add to your army's core. Um, view Panzer vehicles during your retreat. A distinctive adventure. Yeah, let's let's do capture. Well, forced labor. Okay, well. Goliath mine, those things. There's a lot of those left after the war. Must this one commenter said must not have maybe been very effective. We'll do that. Okay. Hmm. Tank school. Well, let's, yeah, let's acquire that for Italy. Germany, I guess, has one full more thing, so, yeah, we'll do organ, well, yeah, we'll do organization tote as well. Okay. So, now, Operation Crusader. Mission briefing. All right. The British have launched a surprise attack crossing the Libyan border near Fort Maddalena. We have several strong garrisons along the, the coastal frontier, but the enemy has bypassed these for the most part. Their flanking advance west of City Omar is now threatening to cut our supply lines. While this may be just a faint rather than the main attack, it will pose significant concerns either way. Our ultimate objective is to prevent the Brit British from opening supply lines between Tobruk and Egypt. We want to keep the Tobruk garrison as isolated as much as possible. They were getting supplies um, brought in mostly at night uh, from the sea. I know historically this would allow to reestablish your foothold and maybe make our own positions unattainable. Okay, so maintain the siege of Tobruk, restart or resist the British. Why? You should really learn to read as well as speak. Uh, resist the British offensive, capture Tobruk. Okay, and secondary, destroy British tanks, destroy British supply depot, and prevent British from use of Gambut airfield, so, which is so far complete, and we're so far maintaining the siege. Okay, now we have some units here. Let's see, good. Um, what I am concerned before we start just deploying everything is looking for units like these and seeing which ones we wish to put in reinforcements. Okay, 571, I think. These guys have no stars, so it's not worth giving them advanced reinforcement, engineers. Yeah, they have the stars. 
starting of a star there. Just comparing, yeah. I think we can afford. We're almost personal panzer. Okay. Probably should have our Italian artillery get no stars, so no point wasting okay so there we have our isolated sort of garrisons up here now can any of these be deployed or is uh, okay nothing can be deployed I'm just wondering if like Germany could be deployed someplace Italy couldn't up forward here if we wish to hmm okay well they're coming here so we want to deal with that I think mm hmm these are organization tote um yeah you can sort of kind of tell the organization tote in North Africa I know this is I know this is more detailed than you want to hear, but since I know it, I'm going to um, spread it. Organization Tote uh, was very much in the gray zone, whether it was in the military or not. Um, they might be properly um, more be class classified as a party organization. The they wore mostly, not entirely, but mostly S. A. Brown, and it was specifically because um, Tote was a um, was he a Gauleiter? No, no, Gauleiter's a party. No, um, uh, no, I forget. He was one level of um, I don't know if a Sturmbannführer or something, but one level of the S. A. Leadership, um, as well um, as being. Uh, Hitler's primary builder, I would say, where where Speer was his primary architect, who did get com building commissions, and there was a bit of rivalry there as to who was getting building commissions for a little while, until they sort of, to some degree, worked together, and so Tote was coming out of the SA, was doing building, was organizing, was organizing building, um, for the Reich. Uh, Famously, uh, not the only not the only organization for it, but one of the things was the um, Reich Auto Bond. He was also very much working with building the West Wall and later the Atlantic Wall. And in those functions, especially once you started to say build the Atlantic Wall, they started to carry guns. Some of them did, uh, so they were really more of a security unit. Now. Um, the primary labor service, the RAD, Reich Arbeitsdienst, and I'm sorry to all the Germans, I'm mispronouncing it, I'm sure. They um, are also in another bit of a gray area. Um, and they, I would say, earlier on had a sort of frontline experience in um, operations in the front line is purely a labor service. Now, because you're in a combat zone, they were given guns, but they were, you know, and I don't, I mean, guns as in rifles, maybe submachine guns, because those were never, there was never enough of anything, never enough of anything, never enough pistols, rifles, machine guns, submachine guns, period. I mean, we can just state that out flat. There was never enough to equip the primary German units, let alone other sort of rear area type personnel. So there was never enough. So um, how much, you know, and we're, I'm not talking guns as any artillery, anti-tanks, or rarely, I would say, for the RAD, um, rarely to have anything that would be defined as a machine gun. Um, the main probably area that, and the reason that the, a um, little more likely that the, um, uh, 
the um, uh, organization Tote would have machine guns just because they were um, responsible for building emplacements. So you need to put machine guns in them so they might sort of kind of temporarily have some in their possession. Um, like and I was getting to say the way you can normally tell well earlier on um, af well after um, I'm trying to think before well before tote well even before tote dies yes there are transportation organizations basically trucks and drivers that were responsible in, initially within the Reich before the war starts to drive well carry stuff in trucks, whether it's personnel to a work site or um, building supplies to the work site or whatever it might be. So as things are going along, the Luftwaffe needs more motorization, not to have motorized combat units, say, but to drive fuel to a, you know, a, an airfield somewhere. Not like, a, I'm not talking like an an air base next to a railway or you know an, no let me restate that and like an airport whether military or civilian but like an airport next to a railway in a big city you probably got enough trucks to sort of kind of handle some of that little local traffic i mean sort of on the eastern front or even on the western front but as the front lines are moving forward hey we're you know setting up you know forward air bases and we need to get fuel there we need to get spare parts we need to get the ground crew there we need to get all of that well the army is already fully utilizing all of its uh, motorization to do what it can do. The Luftwaffe, well, it has some motorization because it just has some trucks. Later on, they actually get motorized divisions and things. But, you know, it has some motorization, but not much. And, of course, the Navy, well, how much motorization does it need? Oh, sure, a few Kubel wagons and a few trucks around ports and whatnot but it's not very motorized obviously i mean on, on the land obviously it's sea they've got motors they're not sailing this isn't um trying to upgrade a, a sailing navy so they looked towards tote or our organization tote you know, however you want to say that because it is sort of dealing with the person as well as dealing with the organization initially as a sort of a temporary um drive some trucks for us well eventually it becomes and it's almost sort of a branch or elements of it becomes a branch of the Luftwaffe and it's really sort of in this nebulous area especially there's like transportation corps Speer which I think mostly gets started after Speer becomes head of organization Tote after Tote's death um, and so they're recruiting like in the Netherlands and in Belgium for truck drivers and it's organization tote they're driving there and so you're not being sent onto the eastern front to carry a rifle you're being sent on the eastern front to drive a truck while you have a rifle next to you just in case the the nasty partisans do something and then oops well once your truck is out of gas and you're now a foot soldier on the eastern front as you could well imagine things sort of collapsing on it so um, organization tote members that were deployed to North Africa and a unit of them, I forget, uh, a transportation corps, and that's sort of a nebulous uh, sort of size unit, was deployed down here and they were mainly equipped with um, Luftwaffe clothing. So they have really baggy pants. The so Luftwaffe had baggy pants that sort of tucked into the top of the boots, but really sort of billowy down to there and in photos they look and people have I've, I've corrected a few people oh this is this is, is this an ss guy in north africa because the Waffe, ss waffen or otherwise was never deployed to north africa all the tropical ss type uniforms were worn in either greece or um, italy like sicily and places like that but they were never deployed down to north africa no, I'm not sure of all the reasons why, but they didn't seem inclined to want to go there, as opposed to somebody wanting to keep them out. But the in sort of somewhat distance type photos, the transportation, uh, or no, the um, uh, 
organization Tote Eagle, which is different when you sort of look at it somewhat closely, but it's sort of somewhat distance photos. It, it has the eagle on the arm where the Waffen SS has the eagle, but I know it's a different eagle, but even if you can't tell from the photo, you can normally tell that it's Tote or Organization Tote because they're wearing Luftwaffe baggy pants, which are recognizable at a distance for um, North Africa. So that's just sort of an interesting thing. Probably more than you wanted to know, but hey, okay, well we want to keep our our friends, the um, British, in the line. So hmm, we have some junky Italian infantry. Let's put them here in this spot. Let's put some better Bergsal. I always have pronounced. I never really heard this. Bergsal Legari. I don't know. Here. Okay, let's put some more here. And some junkier Italian infantry. Over here. Okay, hopefully that will do us for our defense. Now come down here. Let's see what we can do. Hmm. We want to put some... Well, we may want to use our combat inf engineers as attack troops into... into there. And yes, we want them deployed as anti-tank guns. Now, I'm still looking for how, for how far forward. Okay, not very. Let's, yeah, we'll put the check anti, or the check tank there. That's Rommel, I think. Let's put that there. That will hopefully blunt whatever that attack is going to be. this before so I just don't know just don't know how much we need to use the engineers to try to break in uh, how soon we should try that okay let's yeah 26 19 yeah we'll spend it okay um, Let's keep these guys trying to be effective. Deal with the enemy air. Okay. Italian army. Let's come over here, hold the flank down here from a possible attack there. And, uh... all of these I think we will so um, I'm slightly worried that the British will decide to 
attack out of there. these guys really but whatever um so I'm figuring they're gonna have minefields so we'll have the engineers to help deal with that storage well we'll put them up here with the rest of the air Can we, let's see, purchase anything useful? So we could do more engineers, but that is... We have two more core units and more Italian. I think artillery is a little um, underpowered in this game, but that's just my opinion of things. And there we go. Well, can we purchase some Italians? Yes, we can. Okay. Penny Parachutistes Well, let's see about Okay, let's just see about that. So, um, we're going to save. Just in case we want to come back and I've messed this up terribly. an onslaught. 
Though I would have more appreciated to have had the onslaught started and then the first turn is my reaction to it. Because sure there is, shall we say, a die roll variant of what, what could happen here. Yeah, you're gonna cut these guys off. I don't know that we... yeah, as I'm seeing, I don't know that we're gonna fight our way out from that. Okay. Use your cruiser tanks against us. I think they're actually crusaders. Sort of figuring this. Okay, maintain siege, yes, we, we we went over that very recently. Okay. Okay, BF-109 time here. Oh, well, let's first... we have anything that's sort of in the anti-aircraft range around here? No, I don't think. Well, these guys, they're sort of in the anti-tank, so we'll leave them in the anti-tank, because I think that right now is more useful. Oh, oh, it's not. Okay, yeah. Um, why can't I attack here? Read a brief defense against air. Doesn't this do? Oh, is this only a ground attacker? Wow. Okay, well, if it is, it is. I messed that up then. I thought I was another. some bad guys over there, but we'll fly over to here. Hopefully they won't fully shoot us down. Okay, just spotted a steward as well. Okay, hmm. Was thinking about moving these guys and smashing into the side of here, but we can't quite this turn. Um, oh, damn. Somehow I, oh. Oh, God. Let's see, we even did it. gun for both of those vehicles. Yeah, we don't want to right now we don't want to do indirect fire support with you. Okay. Now hmm we really blundered with that. 88. Okay. Uh nope. We're gonna do 
here is come down here. The raw moon itself is going to attack there. Keep pressure up on him. Those are Crusaders as well. Oh, that's a A13. Shoot him with your machine gun. Shoot him with your machine guns. useful. Now, fighting with retreat is one of the more difficult things to do. Okay, um, mm Breed a 20 millimeter can't lower its gun barrel. Well, I guess we might as well retreat this way, retreat this way. can it would be useful Well, I think we're going to end the episode here, so come back next time to see how we can deal with all these Crusaders out here. I guess they're what Mark IIs. Okay, cool. Um, that's an A13, and that's a Stuart in from America. So um, come back and see how we deal with that next episode. Thanks so much. See you then.